Alright guys, had a package turn up from White Mountain Knives and I got the Civivi Imperium. So let's take a look. I like the little cases that the Civivis come in. Alright, what we got? Civivi sticker. Um, a little bit of paperwork. The microfiber cloth. So they always handy, worth, worth having. And a little Civivi knife sticker. And here it is. Fancy looking, huh? <laughs> Let's get the stickers out of the way. There we go. So this is a clear resin handle. And it's either shredded or marbled carbon fiber and I think it's real gold flecks in there they come in gold, silver, bronze and my carter handles and there's a bunch of different Imperiums out there front flipper and the thumb stud I'm a bit of a novice at front flipping but let's give it a go I'll go wide angle Alright, let's make a fool of myself with the front flipper. <laughs> oh, got it. That's probably a one-off. Let's try a couple more. Ah, let's try the thumb stud. Yeah. Really, I don't use thumb stud much. I'm normally a rear flipper. But, uh, Whoop, messed that one up. Yeah, I can see I'm gonna, I'm gonna be wearing out my thumb playing with this thing, but uh, two methods of deploying, pretty nice, quite a fidgety type knife. Yeah, really nice looking. Let's have a look at the uh, blade. <clears throat> Deceiving for a gentleman's knife and really light. Uh, don't know how light. Let's let's take a look at the weight. Two point nine ounces. Eighty five grams. That's really pretty light, isn't it? For a blade that is, uh, what is it? Almost three and a half inch blade. I'll put all the exact dimensions up on the screen in a minute. But one thing I do want to quickly look at is the blade width. Let's get that zeroed in. Two point nine seven, so almost three millimeter blade stock there. Might as well go this way. Twenty one point eight three wide. All right, handle width. It's all in millimeters, but I'll put it up on the screen in inches too. Twelve point eight one. And the steel is nitro V. And I really like Nitro V, it's what my Guardian 3.5 is, Nitro V, holds an edge wonderfully well. It's a, it's a top end steel, really nice stuff. Yeah, I like Nitro V a lot. You can, this comes in Damascus also, but I don't know why anyone would want Damascus when you can get Nitro V. It's a much superior knife steel. 
All right, Damascus looks pretty. It, uh, so are these gold flecks, look at that. I believe they're real gold. Um, let me know if they're not. Burst my bubble if they're not, but I'm pretty sure I read somewhere it is real gold flake in there. But, uh, yeah, nice. I can see a little bit of skeleton eyes going on at the back there on the liner lock side. And on the oh yeah, on the other side, lots of skeleton eyes going on in there. Looks like a G10 backspacer, deep pocket carry, and of course the screws are recessed flush. Countersunk screws there. A little bit of um, edge to this. It feel left-handed feels really good fingers just wrap around the clip there feels really nice and a little choil there I can choke up on it right-handed yeah the clip the clip is not a problem oh yeah it feels real capable knife this be good good for defense it's kind of a sleeper knife this I reckon a gentleman's knife that a really capable gentleman's knife looks like it's a flat grind a long drop top point with a swedge there long swedge running almost the full length I like the black thumb studs matching the black liners here and the clip and the screws even the blacked out Civivi pivot screw there drop shut yeah very nice and the handle Although yeah, it's not the grippiest handle out there, but it's it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it would actually be slicker than than what it is, being as it's uh, what is it clear resin, and it says contoured handles, and they are contoured. Yeah, yeah, very nice. I've got extra large hands, and you know, I've got a. A little extra sticking out the end here. Yeah, nice. I got this one because um, I thought it looked pretty. <laughs> That's one reason. But the other reason is the I like fidget knives, and I've got two methods of deployment here. And I am a real novice at the front flipper, so I want to. I want to get playing with a front flipper. Let's see if I can do it again. Nope. <laughs> yeah. I need some practice. But I'll get plenty. I'll be playing with this sat in front of the TV, wearing out my thumb on that on that jimping there. It's not too aggressive. It definitely catches, you know, to to do it. I have seen people can do the reach around um, let's give it a go I've, I don't know how you do that these people must be double jointed if I hold if I hold it yeah then I can get it to fly open but just one-handed man that's a toughie I don't know how they do that I'll have to I'll have to get practicing and with a front flipper <laughs> Yeah. Drop shot of your course and uh look at that, that's bang in the middle. Blade centering. Let's see how sharp it is. I expect it to be razor sharp coming from Savivi. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Well that was a bit teary. That was me though. 
Yep. Yeah, grabbing a bit. Maybe it needs dropping, I don't know. Feels damn sharp though. I think it's me more than anything. Yeah, I think it's I think it's razor sharp, it's just me with my bad angle work. Yeah, it's cutting hair. It's not the sharpest of EV I've had, that's for sure. But uh, it's it's sharp, you know, you can't say it's not sharp. But not the sharpest, so I will, um, I'll just drop it and see how it goes. But, you know, as far as most knives go, that's pretty damn sharp. Yeah, so there you go guys. Pretty interesting, nice looking, little gentleman's knife. Let's see what the length overall is. Just under 8 inches overall length. And I look forward to many an hour practicing my front flipping. Yeah, got it. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.